Hello guys, today we will see how we can download and install VS Code in your Windows PC so that we can do development in Python, Java, PHP, Node.js or anything like that. In later on videos, we will see how we can extend or install support for various programming languages. But for now, let's get started. First of all, let's check if what our uh, Windows version is. So you can type Windows R and this run dialog will appear and then you can type MS Info 32 and then you will see your OS name that is Microsoft Windows 11 home for me you can see all this stuff you can see the RAM all right and as you can see system type is 64-bit system so 64-bit software will work for us you can also check all the stuff provided below this all right but for now this is enough for us we have a 64-bit system and we have Microsoft Windows 11 home okay let me just close this. Now go to your browser and type download VS Code. And click on this first URL that is from the official code.visualstudio.com. Okay, so click the first one. And then you need to download for Windows 11. As we saw, <clears throat> our system is 64 bit system. So uh, instead of these things, command line and stuff click the user installer one right x64 one click on this x64 and now your download should be started and it is downloading as you can see if it does not download you can just click on this direct download link and then it will download okay so let's wait till this is downloaded so now this is that now that this is downloaded you can just click open file or you can just go where it is and then double click to open it so i'll just click open file and the installer will open accept the agreement click next and you can change the directory wherever you want to install this uh, application but for now I'll just leave it in the default directory you can also leave it in the default directory and just hit next you can create a desktop icon let's create a desktop icon add path so that our code command will work so this uh, keep these checked all right and click next install now our vs code is installing okay so now there is this option to launch visual studio code so i can finish this and the visual studio code will be launched as you can see it is launched now you can open a file or open a folder and all that stuff and you can install extensions for php or for python or whatever whatever language that you are using or let's try to open a project here so I have a few Python projects let's try to open those things and let's see if it work or not so I'll just create a flask project right so I'll select the folder just if something like this appears if it is your project you can just click trust the authors and files and I just click trust the authors and as you can see this is the project the project is open and this is my main.py file and everything seems to be working pretty well let me know if you have any questions i'll help you out peace out